Would you like your compost mature or just stable? Imagine this question when you buy compost. Isn't compost mature by definition? With aerated static pile composting, we can fool ourselves and perhaps others in thinking we have mature compost when in fact we don't. We've simply dried it to a point where it's stable. Isn't stabilizing compost good enough? After all, we incorporate crop residues, we apply animal manures, and we apply anaerobic digestate. None of these products have to be mature. We can even argue that we lose nitrogen during composting, so a minimal compost process is good, or perhaps even better. If we think stable compost is good enough, perhaps we need to communicate this clearly to customers. It's stable, but it's not mature. But then is it really compost? If we prepare a food waste compost mix well and put enough air to it, the product dries rapidly and the odor is gone. It looks good and smells good and it's stable. It also screens better and faster when it's drier. Isn't that all good? Whether a compost needs to be mature or just stable depends on where the compost is being used and the choice of the customer buying it. Maturity is critical if it's being used for home gardens, for greenhouses, or for growers that understand and appreciate the benefit of good biology. Shouldn't customers have a right to know if the compost that they're buying is mature? It actually might be what they're expecting. There are two challenges with producing stable compost that's not mature. The first is that the compost may heat up and begin to develop odor when it gets wet. Second, it's been noted that immature compost may contain high fecal coliform. A few years ago, I bought some compost advertised as premium class A compost. I assumed that it was mature. No one told me otherwise. After I received it, the temperature went to 160 degrees Fahrenheit within 24 hours. So for fun, I cooked a roast in it. It was obviously not mature. It's difficult to imagine that this compost had the diversity of biology that I was expecting from a mature compost. This compost also contained elevated fecal coliform and E. coli. It was obviously immature. So then, what does the term Class A compost then really mean? Here is an analysis of food waste compost from a different aerated process. It's approximately one week old. The test indicates the compost is stable. I took the same compost, re-wetted it for 24 hours, and then obtained a completely different result. I now had unstable compost. Most of us expect compost to be mature by definition, so we should be forthcoming if we're trying to sell compost that's just stable. In the next video, we'll explore some of the regulations around compost maturity. We'll explore whether regulations and guidance either help customer confidence or empower composters to produce and sell compost that isn't mature. My name is John Paul. I'm a soil scientist and waste management specialist. Thank you.